Hey guys. Hey. So we are coming at you from a boondocking site just outside of Tombstone, Arizona. Yeah, only what, 10 miles away from Tombstone, but about 30 minutes away. Oh, more. More, maybe yeah. more. This area is so popular. We are here in about mid-January and um, gosh, I, I almost thought we were going to have to bail on the whole area. And there's tons of sites here. It's yeah. just... It's very busy. It's just so busy. But we kind of lucked out and there were some people packing up from this really great spot. <laughs> um, so we were able to kind of swoop in. But uh, we have, what, a couple bars on AT&T and the Verizon's also pretty good. Yeah. So we are going to spend the week here. Just nestled up against the Dragoon Mountains looking out uh, at the valley. That's right. And we are not going into town at all because we do not have to take that long road any more than we have to. So We are um, staying put. Before we came here, we actually did something fun. We spent a single night boondocking outside the town of Bisbee. Uh, the site was also very hard to get to. Um, just, I mean, not as far, but very steep and rough road. I even... I was in four-wheel drive in the truck and spun out a couple times if I got going too slow and then tried to accelerate on these steep inclines. So that was another road I don't know that I'd want to do again. Yeah, but we enjoyed one night there and then we looked at the forecast and saw that it was going to rain pretty heavily and decided we didn't want to stay there. Yeah, and also the wind had whipped up and kept waking us up overnight. So unfortunately, yeah, that was kind of a failed plan. We were going to spend the week there. But, but <laughs> we still got to enjoy the town of Bisbee while we were in the area. Oh my gosh, it's so cute, you guys. <laughs> um, and so we didn't really pop into any shops because it's COVID times. And so we, we definitely missed out on that. But we enjoyed walking around and checking out all the artwork around town. And we did pick up some takeout lunch there. Yeah, what was that restaurant? It was called On the Veg. Yes. It's a vegan, entirely vegan restaurant. Yeah, and excellent, very good. excellent food. Anyway, it should be a great stay, and uh, we'll show you a little more of this area. So we're camped just up at the base of those rocks. This is more of the main road, more options this way, but not a lot. We might have got the best spot out here. So we finally decided to scramble up this um, rock climbing wall um, to get to the top. Yeah, so we're going on the back side. Yeah, so we're going up the back side so that we can get to the top and get a nice view. Brad, of course, in his flip-flops. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a gorgeous day. And here we are above camp. There's another campsite over there. Yeah, that was occupied when we got here. Uh -huh. But that's a nice spot. And there's a really nice spot that's occupied by a big schoolie over there. Mm -hmm. And actually, another site kind of tucked in here, right across the driveways, right across from the school. Oh, is there someone in that site? Uh huh. Okay. At least there was yesterday.
So this campsite um, is actually right next to a climbing wall and we knew that before we got here because there were some groups already here um, using it and utilizing it and and that's not a problem for us it's actually pretty entertaining and, and cool yeah to watch them and their their skills on the climbing wall but that might be viewed I guess to other people as a downside to this particular spot that we chose because people have kind of been coming and going throughout the day in order to every use day that. yeah every single day yeah um, but there are little kind of shrubby trees between our spot and where most people are parking. And we also, since we knew that, we faced our patio away from the climbing wall so that we would also kind of feel a little more private. Um, we get better solar that way too. Yeah. <laughs> but at night, you know, at sundown, they, they leave and it's, it's quiet and peaceful and it's beautiful. I love being this close and by the rocks. Yeah. It was a real long drive in here, about 10 miles on this uh, washboardy road. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Such a headache. Pro probably anybody could do it, but it just it's just slow going. So, yeah, 10 miles of that, and then you turn onto the road, I don't remember the name, to come in here, and then we came in another two miles before we found something. So we scouted basically this whole place, I think. We, we ended up taking the site. It's just after the cattle grate. There's probably 20 sites, give or take. In this whole area. In this area, yeah. And most of them are big enough for, for multiple rigs, but, you know, if if you don't know the people already in the site, you know, you should probably just try to find something on your own because there are so many options. Yeah. But um, I guess if, if we were just out of luck, we might have tried to squeeze into one of... Because there are some that are just really and large. Really, really big, and if you could go all the way on the other side. And yeah. It, yeah. But, um, yeah, so, yeah, we went over the cattle grate and then turned right on a, a little gravel road that took us up by the rocks, and that's where we were. And if we had kept going straight beyond the cattle grate, which we did, um, you'll eventually, you'll kind of dip and then see that the road starts, it gets really steep for a section, and anything beyond that, it becomes very difficult to turn around, we know from experience. Yeah. So basically, if you can't get in one of those sites straight beyond the cattle grate, there'll be a site on the left that's really large and on the right. Um, I would probably just try to turn around there. Yes. So in addition to the rock scrambling, um, Brad also found a hike out here. Yeah, there's a, uh, a hike called Slab and Gulch. On, I found it on all trails. It's about seven miles round trip. Um, we're probably not going to end up doing it, just don't have the time to work it out, but um, it, it looked like a great hike. It was really well rated. Yeah, and if you're it, a climber, bring your climbing gear. Yeah, 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 for sure. This was a really great place to stay. I would totally come back here. It really reminded us a lot of Indian bread rocks, except way more campsites to choose from. And um, so yeah, if you liked that or you've been there, uh, I think you'll like this area as well. And of course, Bisbee was great and nearby, so a lot a lot to kind of check out in this area. Yeah. All right, guys, we are going to hit the road soon, so we hope you've enjoyed a little look around this area, and we will see you down the road. See you down the road. <laughs>